In this lecture, we will cover release and iteration planning. Here, the learning objective is to know the differences between iteration and release planning and how a tester adds value in each of these activities. This is marked as K1. Let's first recall the test planning we covered in the foundation level syllabus. Test planning involves activities that define the objectives of testing. So, test planning is the stage where we decide what we need to test and what we want to achieve from it. It also includes an approach for meeting test objectives within constraints imposed by the context. We know that testing is context dependent. Based on what we test, we decide in the test planning stage which approach we will use. And the last point is, test plans may be revisited based on feedback from monitoring and control activities. These are the three main points of test planning. Defining test objective, defining test approach, updating plan based on feedback. This is what we covered in foundation level syllabus. But in Agile development, it is a bit different. We do two kinds of planning for the Agile lifecycle, release planning and iteration planning. Before we go further, what you need to keep in mind is that release planning is higher level planning done for the next few months. Whereas to finish one release planning, we may need two of three iteration plans. In this lecture, we will cover release planning. Let's first see what is release planning. Release planning looks ahead to the release of a product, often a few months ahead of the start of the project. Let's understand this. Suppose you are making a plan in the month of July to release the product in October. That means you are planning for the next three months. This is the first point. The second point is, Release planning defines and redefines the product backlog and may involve refining larger user stories into a collection of smaller stories. Now let's understand this point. During release planning, we have to define the product backlog. To define the product backlog, we have to analyze the user stories. And if we see that the user story can be divided further, then we have to do that. By doing this, we are dividing the larger user stories to smaller user stories so that we can plan them easily. Remember this point. The project backlog is defined during release planning. The third point is, release planning provides the basis for a test approach and test plan spanning all iterations. Let's understand this point. In release planning, we decide how many iterations we need for implementing the release planning. Suppose we decide to execute five iterations for the next three months to implement this release planning. With all the three points which we explained here, we can clearly say that release planning is high level planning. Remember these four points. Release planning looks ahead to the release of a product, often a few months ahead of a start of a project. Release planning defines and redefines the product backlog and may involve refining larger user stories into a collection of smaller stories. Release planning provides the basis for a test approach and test plan spanning all iterations. And release planning is high level planning. Now we will see who establishes and prioritizes the user stories for the release. In release planning, business representatives establish and prioritize the user stories for the release in collaboration with the team. This point is very important. Business representatives establish and prioritize the user stories for the release in collaboration with the team. And based on the user stories prepared by business representatives, Project and quality risks are identified and high-level effort estimation is performed. Now let's see what the tester's activity in release planning. 
Testers are involved in release planning and especially add value in the following activities. Defining testable user stories, including acceptance criteria. Participating in project and quality risk analysis. Estimating testing effort associated with the user stories. Defining the necessary test levels. Planning the testing for the release. Here we can see testers also make high-level planning. In the next lecture, we will cover iteration planning where we will see the detailed planning made by testers. Let's summarize the points we covered in this lecture. For agile life cycles, two kinds of planning occur. Release planning, iteration planning, where release planning looks ahead to the release of a product, often a few months ahead of the start of a project. And iteration planning is done for a short period. Then we saw business representatives in collaboration with team establish and prioritize the user stories for the release and based on that project and quality risks are identified and high level effort estimation is performed. At the end, we covered testers contributions in release planning.